So a little update on my current project. I am implementing some 3D rendering in Love2D, which is a 2D engine which uses Lua for scripting. And I enjoy doing uh, programming in Lua and I enjoy yeah, implementing some 3D stuff. And this is my current task that I've solved. I wanted and needed some uh, algorithm to detect which triangle is being hit when I'm pointing with the mouse at it, because I wanted to have some convenient methods to move objects. And I thought it's maybe interesting for you to understand how this is being done. Because I didn't find this too complicated to implement the hit detection and the way how it's being done fairly efficiently. I hope it's efficient. So what you see on the left side is the 3D model that is being tested against this ray. And what's being rendered here is, or what, what's happening here is the 3D model is somewhere in the scene. And as you see on the left side, the tree model that is being tested is not moving. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking the ray that is being shot at the tree and convert it to the local space of the tree. And the reason for that is that I'm using axis aligned bounding boxes for the boxes that are grouping the triangles. And the axis aligned bounding box test is being done most efficiently when the ray is yeah, in local space. So all the axis aligned bounding box checks can be done in uh, the simple coordinate space for the bounding box. And this structure here is being built by beginning with the entire triangle soup, so the entire tree. And you can imagine that the box would look like this, this huge. And then it's being bisected in some hopefully good coordinate. And in this case, it starts with a vertical slice, so top and bottom, and all the triangles that are below the bisection plane are put into the bottom box. All the ones that are above it are put into the above box. And the ones that are cutting the uh, plane are being put into a separate box, the box where nothing fit in. And then the process is being repeated with each uh, box that was being created. And therefore, a hierarchy is being created, which is useful. Because um, if you see, um, if I'm pointing to an area where no hit happens, you see on the left side here, that there are fairly many triangles that are being tested and fairly many boxes are being highlighted. And these are all the boxes that are being tested. And this is a bad situation because we need to do a lot of tests. But when I'm like here, you see that only very, very few triangles are being tested because a hit was found. And the hit is also very conveniently blocking all the other boxes that are behind. Because during the traversion of the hierarchy, I am doing this in the front to back order. So the boxes that are close to the camera are tested first, and then follow the boxes that are behind it, but only if the triangle that has been found is not, uh, is not yeah, um, preventing the ray to hit something in the box behind. I mean, there's no need to test the content of a box when we know that there's no triangle inside that could be closer than what we have already found. So, hope this was all insightful and interesting. Um, as I said, I, I'm reinventing the wheel a lot here, but I enjoy doing that. And um, I find quite some joy in understanding how these basic things work. Um, so that's what I'm continuing to do. And yeah, I'm getting closer to what I actually want to do, which I hope to show uh, in a 
future video. So maybe you will see that as well. Uh, leave a like if you like or subscribe and see you next time.